Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is 11.5 in the walkthrough, which means it was made after part 86. The reason why is because at this point in the game, when you get your GR coin finished, there's something that I didn't know unlocked, so I had to make a part for it. It's the first challenge cup with a guaranteed prize! Woo! But unfortunately, I had to replay the game up to this point. So that means my card pool is different than it was the first playthrough. So I had to make a new deck. And to make it fit in with the walkthrough, I made it the best of five deck. Because you see, you get five pre-constructed decks throughout this course of the game. Which means you have those five decks as a guaranteed card pool. You know, you have the starter deck and the four GR Obliviation deck, I guess you call them. So, <laughs> uh, so I decided to use only the cards from that card pool and make something unique with that and also efficient. So here we go. The best of five deck, grass and water energy, ten apiece, because it's pretty pretty balanced in the way that I got these Pokemon just in general, and double colorless energy because there's a bunch of stuff that works with the nice ex energy acceleration of the double colorless. So let's start out with the Bulbasaur, tackle, <laughs> razor leaf, yeah, pretty, pretty basic stuff, so just attach grass energy to Bulbasaur and you should be pretty good. It's a nice early game attacker, basically. Uh, Ivysaur isn't anything to sneeze at either with its 70 HP, recovery with Leech Seed, and Vine Whip for 40. So that's also nicely efficient, I would say, for the most part. I mean, it's, you know, it's an early game deck, so I'm doing what I can with what I have and what I was forced to use based on the walkthrough fitting in, but anyway. <laughs> now you have this Paris here, with double colorless energy scratch, so it's it could be like 1 for 20, or just two of anything for 20. Spore can also cause Sleepy Sleepies for two grass, pretty nice. And, uh, well, similar to Parasect, <laughs> but also very similar to Parasect with Slash. So it's like a double colorless energy plus a regular energy. Uh, they both have kind of low HP at 40 and 60 though, so I gotta be careful when I play them. But, you know, they should work out fine with double colorless and just a little bit of planning here and there, I think. Goldeen. This is gonna look pretty familiar here. See, what what does this remind you of? Oh yes, the Bulbasaur. <laughs> yeah, so I figured that would be a a, a nice compliment for the early game deal. Because yeah, the energy requirements are just very similar. And speaking of similar energy requirements, we have Star You, one for twenty, and Star Me, recover. Remove all damage counters at the cost of one water energy and star freeze 24 paralysis. Very similar to the Parasect in energy requirements. So that's why I have the energy balanced thusly. For colorless Pokemon, just give a little bit of extra versatility. Got Psychic Resistant Rat Rattata with a Bite 1 for 20. Always nice to have. And Spiro 10 to 20. Good with double colorless energy as well, but also free retreat like Rattata as well. And uh, Fighting Resistance, so it's just a little bit of extra versatility with these two. For the trainer cards, again, I was limited by the card pool to guarantee that I could make this deck at this moment in time, so... Just one energy removal. Just one. But I do have Energy Retrieval, which could help me a little bit later on in the game, uh, as energy cards get discarded. Uh, which might happen with Professor Oak, depending on how things... Yeah, the Dex actually gave me three Professor Oak in total. It's pretty nice there. <laughs> uh, also four Bill to use, so, you know, draw two cards. Professor Oak, discard your hand, draw seven. Very nice draw power in general. Pokemon Trader is also given, so that's always a versatile card to utilize there, because you can pick what you want most of the time. Uh, plus power, always nice for surprise knockouts by doing 10 extra damage that the opponent was not expecting. Defender, also nice for stalling to throw the opponent off, thinking they'll be able to knock something out that they cannot. And since some of this stuff has low HP, Defender is pretty nice. Gust of Wind, also nice for those surprise knockouts. And that is the best of five deck. And maybe the best deck that I could build at this moment in time? I don't know. I mean, I, I thought about having the fighting line, you know, the Machop Macho in place of the uh, grass, but I had kind of only those to go with. <laughs> so, so I was like, you know what, I, 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 th I think I'm better off with the grass, so <laughs> at least at this moment in time. 
Alright, challenge hall. Now, I'm skipping all the dialogue around this area because I'll show it later on in the game when I play a challenge cup later on, so I just figured I would show you the challenge cup now for the prizes and then you'll see the dialogue for it later just to save time and everything like that. We're currently holding a challenge cup tournament. A winner of the tournament will get a rare Mewtwo level 30 card. Guaranteed tournament at this time for a guaranteed prize, which is this card. Each duel is with four prize cards. One loss and you're out. New participants can register here with me. Would you like to participate in the challenge cup? Yes. Please go up on the stage. By the way, save before playing this and save after each duel just to make sure that you are safe. And, you know, I already saved, so big whoop. The challenge cup is on the way. Here's the current undefeated player, Nicholas. Here's the next challenger, Mint. Are you both ready? Place your four prize cards first. Now then, start the competition! Overflow deck! That could be... A bit of an issue for my water critters and my Spearow, but eh, we'll see how things roll. Uh, well, you know, it probably wouldn't hurt to lead with the Star Yu to do as much damage as possible. I might actually get the coin flip first, anyway. Uh, I did not, but I tried. I tried. Oh, that Magnemite requires two energy anyway, so might not matter. Uh, that sleep may also not matter. <laughs> Depends on the situation. Because the, uh, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, because you could wake up, so, yeah. Ooh, Professor Oak, yes, 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 na, 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 na. Uh, ooh, do I wanna actually discard the Star May? Maybe? Because I will probably get it back later as I trade for it or something. I definitely probably should. <laughs> Professor Oak, probability-wise, just to give myself more options at this point. Uh, yeah, Bill. I'll save the Professor Oak and see what I can do with the rest of my cards. Ooh. Gust of Wind. That's tempting to hit that Volt Orb instead of leaving the Magnemite out with that Tackle. Hmm. Although I could get that one energy removal with Professor Oak. Options. Decisions. What should I do? I should probably put Paris in play, first of all. And I guess the Bulbasaur, too. Because I, I got the double colorless for the uh, Paris, but I can't really play it right now. And I also, you know, I could get Parasect as well. But for now, let's slap. He'll probably put an energy on Magnemite and knock out my Staryu, as you would expect, but then I'll just retaliate with the Paris and knock out Magnemite. You know how things go. <laughs> so, it's just, this is just planning 101 here. So, now with Paris not being double damage, it'll also be nice and safe versus the Voltorb as well. Um, yeah, I don't think I want to do anything else other than scratch, so. Take out the Magnemite, and sure enough, double colorless energy rules the day. Oh, I sh oh, if I plus plus power the Paris into victory, oh, I can't do it now. But if I do, actually, maybe I, I could be able to. Like if I get Parasect and the plus power, um, <laughs> the chances of that is pretty low. But should I go for it anyway? I mean, it won't be able. To, I don't know. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I should think of more longevity here. <laughs> just call it a turn. <laughs> just thinking, yeah, should I beat him as quick as po- Oh man, beat him as quick as possible. Well, that's actually- that might actually be fine. Because the uh, Sonic Boom, no weak, the same resistance, and I've already got other stuff coming in the way here, so... Here's Bulbasaur. Have a nice day. <laughs> so I'm gonna put- oh, that's right, I don't have the other grass. Uh, well, Bill, first of all. And Paris Water... Ah, mm. uh, I may just Professor Oak. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I want my Grass Energy. <laughs> just give me the best chance against the big ball here. Okay, so we got that, and there's my Parasect. Oh, I would've gotten Parasect plus power! Ah! <laughs> well... I could always Razor Leaf the Electrode with the plus power. Uh, I guess I'll build, see what I get out of that as well. Trader and water... I could trade for that Seeking. You know, for the future, now that I don't have the Paris. And yeah, Seeking, you know, it's double damage to Lightning, but Sonic Boom isn't dishing out uh, double damage anyway, because no weak to say Resistance is being played, so... Razor Leaf! On Electrode, call it a turn. Please don't put a bench Pokemon in play. Thank you, Sonic Boom. And yeah, I win with the plus power anyway. 
That's the power of the plus power. Boop. Boop. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't even have to do anything but seeking now. It ran out of bench Pokemon. Victory is mine! And remember to save between games. Early games, so you don't have a super consistent deck or anything like that. Thank you, thank you! Let's try again next time. Aww. There will be unlimited challenge cups, so he'll get his chance. Brittany? Uh, yes, I would like to change my deck. By change my deck, I mean save my game, so... <laughs> no. Then let's start the match! Let's set her on deck! So, with the grassiness, it's gonna be kind of neutral for the most part here, I would say. Uh, well, very neutral, especially when she doesn't have anything, though. <laughs> nah, she'll get something here. But yeah, that's, since it's grass and I don't have anything fire, yeah, it's not really gonna be a high attack power uh, game for either side, but it should turn out fine, I think. I'll leave the other Bulbasaur in my hand in case of Pokemon Trader or something like that. I might just Professor Oak it. Like either, oh, that Nidoran. That Nidoran could do a lot of damage very quickly. Oh no! <laughs> uh, what if I should just let the Goldeen get KO'd then? Um, yeah, I think I will. We'll just put that on the Bulbasaur and then go for either an Ivysaur or another Grass and maybe a plus power. <laughs> you know the deal with that, so. You know, I'll just kind of utilize the Goldeen as a wall here. Sorry, Goldeen! You might actually not get knocked out anyway, but yeah. <laughs> uh, Staryu, very nice. Let's put that on Staryu to get things set up. I'm not gonna Professor Oak just yet. I'm gonna wait for the knockout and then do the Bulbasaur, because chances are I'll get an energy card with that Professor Oak. Because, you know, 10 energy cards, you draw 7 out of 60 cards in your deck. Pretty good chance you're getting the Grass energy card, you know what I mean? Um... Um, I want to play the last Goldeen. It just seems like I'm going to fill up the bench for no good reason, you know what I mean? <laughs> Professor Oak. So yeah, let's discard, discard those two and leave it open for other critters. And I keep saying, you know what I mean? Uh, what is Bill? No plus power, but you can't expect a set up like the last game. I did get that grass energy, though, so... Uh, Ivysaur I'll probably whip out on the next turn. Because I'll probably get knocked out. Well, Goldeen will get knocked out. I will get knocked out. Um, and... Well, she's got to get a coin flip head, so... She may get... Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, she's going to get it eventually. But yeah, that's kind of the thing about the male Nidoran, is that they can do a lot of damage quickly. One for 30. But with that coin flip, it kind of puts a damper in the plans. Put that on there, evolve into Ivysaur, and then Vine Whip for the knockout. So now we got a pretty good ace going here. There's a plus power, one of the two copies. Uh, so with that, probably have the game won. Because <laughs> I'm going to be able to knock out a bunch of stuff even with the poison, thanks to the plus power in general. Uh, and I'll also be able to set up stuff on the side here. i actually go and... Get the other Bulbasaur powered up, and whoa, 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 I almost forgot. Oh, man! <laughs> uh, the Bleach Seed is not really that useful at the moment, because it's, it's got poison anyway, so I'm just going to keep going for rapid knockouts as quick as I can, and sadly, though, it looks like my Ivysaur is not going to make it to the very end of the game with the poison, but it will be able to get the knockout on the Bulbasaur. I mean, I could leave it in the game by just switching it out, but uh, that's, that's not energy efficient, man. <laughs> um, wait a second. I should go for the Seeking. Then play and Vine Whip the Bulbasaur off the field. Voila! Nice and swift. Ooh, energy removal! Yes, 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 yes. Um, now for the... Wait, should I put out the Seeking or... Staryu instead of Seeking, because Staryu can retreat pretty easily if need be, and uh, it could still do a respectable amount of damage with two slaps, so it just might mess her up with the whole uh, having her to retreat thing, because I only got one prize card left. It's kind of planning dealio if she didn't get the poison anyway. Uh, Rattata is nice. As a matter of fact, I'm going to mess with that even more with that energy removal. Uh, put that on the Seeking, and slap. 
So now she absolutely has to switch Weedle instead of attack with it, which means she has to discard that energy card, yep. Which means no attack for her, thanks to my energy removal last turn. And we're gonna put that on Bulbasaur. And we're gonna have a similar situation here, because we're running her out of HP, basically. So she gets a basic Pokémon. Oh, she got a potion. Okay, so that's what she drew. I was gonna say, if she gets a basic Pokemon, then she will have to uh, switch over to it if she's got an energy card to boot, but she got a potion with that. That kind of changed a little bit of the plan, but she didn't cause poison, so it's still not that big of a deal. Oh, wait, what am I, what am I thinking here? I got Gust of Wind. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> How could I have forgotten? It's like I always save Gust of Wind for when I really need it, and you know what? What's good to use that for when you really need it? What in the game? <laughs> Congratulations, Zint. You've got two total wins. You're well on your way to becoming a champion. But bad luck, Brittany. Please try again next time. Oh, you will. Well, who's the next challenger? Man, that is cold. <laughs> See, who's our next challenger? Kristen! Mint, electric modifier? Yes. I, I'm modifying my deck right now. <laughs> Rinse is your third and final challenger. Begin! Shining Moth Scales deck! So with that uh, saving, we basically got ourselves guaranteed Mewtwo level 30 there. <laughs> See how things go. Hopefully we won't have to re reload our save or anything like that. But mm -hmm. uh, Spiro's decent, but... Without, despite all those basic Pokémon that I've got, I got, what was it, uh, 16? I'm not getting that many basic Pokémon. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put that on there, and Peck. I see she's only got the Venonat there. It would be a shame if she didn't have any more basic Pokémon. Ah, same with me, actually. <laughs> uh, probably gonna go for the Peck. Oh, no, it didn't work anyway. Uh, cause I was, oh, plus power. That actually... That may actually make a huge difference. Uh, assuming I don't get confused or anything like that. Because I might just be able to win on the next turn with the wing attack and plus power surprise, but we'll see. Uh, Venonat, if you go for the confu- I mean, if you hit with confusion, that uh, I was gonna say, that could be an issue. Um, it's not a true psychic Pokemon there, despite it using a psychic attack, so... Ooh, Bill, there we go. So, uh, it still does damage to Spearow. Okay, Paris and Staryu. We're gonna go for the free retreat just to see if we can actually pull this off here. I'm gonna go to Staryu. Ah, I was gonna say, if I get, get Staryu, attach a water energy with the plus power, then I win. Um, oh, and also you can only try that once per turn, so... Yeah, I mean, I could try to attack with the plus power anyway, but I don't know. I don't think that's such a good idea. I'd rather just let her knock out the Spearow and hope that she doesn't get another basic Pokemon. Okay, thank you. <laughs> just to kind of increase my chances of victory here by longevity, basically, because I don't trust that I'm going to be able to attack with Spearow. You know, it's 50-50. So, with plus power, I win. But I'm just going to see what I get with the bill. Uh, well, I don't really have anything else to play, huh? <laughs> Victory! <laughs> I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. So yeah, I'll go into these duelists more detail in later parts. You know, just kind of, kind of went over that you know, other, you know, point five parts. But you know, you know, this is just like a little catch up part. I guess you could say uh, something that I missed anyway. So just thought I would show you that it's here. Congratulations, we found our tournament winner. But bad luck, Kristen. Please try again next time. That was so close. We found the winner of the challenge cup competition. It's Mint. Here you go, Mint, your new Mewtwo level 30 card! Yeah! That energy spike, choose a basic energy card, attach one of your op opponent's Pokémon, attach it to another! So are you gonna mess them up? Like, say, they're using all grass energy? Or, I mean, a Pokémon has all grass energy, you can put all other kinds of energy on that Pokémon just so they can't use it. 
and telekinesis to use one of your opponent's Pokemon to do 30 damage to it. Don't apply weakness and resistance for this attack. So it's like that uh, uh, electrode in a way with the sonic boom and the like. So it's, it's got its uses. <laughs> Mint, once more, congratulations! Thank you. Thank you. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I head on over to... Wait, 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 hold on a sec. Actually... Actually, wait, 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 before I forget, is there something I did forget to do here, over at the airport, uh, I do show you this dialogue later on, so I'm just gonna click through that, I, I just remembered something here, and I'm glad that I remembered this, because at the GR Game Center, there is a, uh, there's a little special thing if you go, go to that early enough in the game, and when you get that, I mean, when you get get there in that early in the game, you'll be able to actually get that. But if you get there past a certain point in the game, I think it's after you uh, beat the f Fighting Fort Master, I thought. I, I forgot at this point, but yes, you just I'm just going to do it now because I, I didn't show it before in the in the main, main, main walkthrough part, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it now before I go all sad face with that sin. Because <laughs> I, ju I just I don't want to forget, so I'm not ending the parts as as I implied. Be free to go do as you please. Well, go on, I'm having the same dialogue as we'll see later on. Good, good, good. Alright, game center over here. I'm gonna go in. And Ronald is here! What is it, Vince? Fancy meeting you here! This game center was built and managed by Team GR. There are lots of slot machines and video games you can play here. You can exchange the chips you win for a promotional card voucher. I just got a few vouchers myself. Here, I take one, Mint! And it's Bill's computer, a card that I missed during the walkthrough, but it doesn't much matter that I did miss it in all honesty, because you can just use it as a voucher and you can get unlimited amounts of these at the upper right exchange corner in this very room, so. Drop both cards and you'll get a special promotional card through the mail in return. As for details at the game center. <laughs> Terms and conditions may apply. Uh, of course, you can't put that card in any of your decks. Instead, you trade it in one of the other listed cards for sheep sweet promos. Be careful, though, because you won't get either card back. Anyway, I'm off to search for the people that Team GR kidnapped. I was so hooked at a game, sir, that I almost forgot! <laughs> Later, Mint! Thank you! Thank you! And yes, this is where you can exchange the giblets uh, for the Bill's computer. Yep, you get thousand chips, exchange it, unlimited Bill's computers, basically, so don't worry about it too much. <laughs> um, I also like to go check other bits of dialogue around here, uh, just really quick here. Look, welcome to the Game Center. You don't have any chips, do you? Yeah, I'll give you ten chips. Yay, I'm not keeping these, because this isn't a totally official part. <laughs> just remember that you can't take chips outside the center. Alright, so I'm gonna take a peek see around here. I'm assigning the games here to figure out how to ensure wins. But every time I play, it's lose, lose, lose. I always lose. In the end, I haven't learned a thing. This is why you don't play luck-based games. Uh, I started playing one of the games they have here and got hooked. It took me years before I stopped, and I was so old by then. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. Seriously, though, please be careful that you don't get an addiction. Indeed. Indeed. It's you, Mint. What are you doing here? I guess that could have happened to Ronald. You know, he sat there for hours. Aha! You... Are you playing around here? You can't beat Team GR? Ah, you're so hopeless. Well, that's actually different dialogue than what I showed later on in the game when I was like, oh! Yeah, she said something in regards to... Yeah! Yeah, you'll see when you get to that part. <laughs> and I guess I'll take a peek see around. Oh wait, actually, uh, this is the chip counter. Leave and reclaim any game chips you've won here. I'm not gonna do that now, I don't want to flop on through here, see if there's any more dialogue to be had. Uh, you can build a combo and a coin toss with your heads. Uh, no new dialogue. No new dialogue. No, no new dialogue. Okay, so I guess we're good then. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I head on over to... Wait, 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 hold on a sec. I just thought of something. <laughs> oh yeah, the, oh yeah. I'm sorry. The game center requires the chips to be kept there. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, you you put those tips back there. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about this. Um, I didn't show the first time that I went back over to the main island in the main walkthrough, so I'm going to do that really quick here. Would you like to board the airship? Yes. Follow me then. I, I believe it's all the same dialogue and cutscenes and the like, and yeah, I, I think it is. Uh... By the way, I can't skip the cutscene of my first pass through here. It's just kind of an automatic thing, but it is quicker going back than it is going to a GR Island, but <laughs> I, I'm glad I remember both of these things, let me tell you. So yeah, you didn't miss any dialogue uh, when I when I didn't show you the first time that I came through here with it, but I just wanted to show you that I did not forget to show you all the dialogue that I could at that time. So <laughs> and, and now, with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. Wait, 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 no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> see you in the next part when I do stuff at GR Island. <laughs>